Got these screws out now. Now let's see what's going to happen here. Jeez. I think there might be some more screws underneath. Underneath this that I have to take out too. I think so. Aha. Okay. There's a few more screws. Underneath here. I have to undo those screws now too. And then this will come out. You know, if you ever get in a bind and you can't figure out how to get something apart, make sure you check every possible situation out to see if there's anything else you got to do to like undo screws like this. Once you're getting frustrated thinking you can't do something because you can't locate a couple screws, you know, or thinking you're just going to pry something off because it's not coming off. Oh, I know how to do it. Just get a bigger hammer. That's not usually the way to go about it. Now, let's see. There. Because that's going to swivel out at the bottom. And then... I think this pulls out. I think it gets lipped up over here, he was saying. I want to force it. Let's just do it slow. I guess I'm going to have to shine my flashlight up under here. See what's going on. A lot more to it. Than I was thinking originally, but man, I really don't want to have to spend all that money to the appliance guy if I don't have to. Okay. Before I pry this off, I need to kind of look at it. Just kind of see how things are going here. Looking at this new one, and it looks like it wraps around this trim piece here. So that trim piece, I don't know if it needs to come off right now or if it slips off later or what. But I got to be aware of that as I go. I think this swivels up off of here. Okay, there. There it goes. Jeez. There. Wow. Look at all this. Now I gotta be careful with all this and figure out how it's all gonna slip back together. You know, here's my handles. Just be careful with those. It looks like those kind of pop out of here that. Okay. Now see, I'm going to have to unscrew this board back here. And this board stays. And I talked to the appliance company and he's had this problem with these before. And all he's ever done is replace the front like, like I was telling you before. This front pad. And See that front pad comes in right here and gets plugged in right to this panel. Now if there's something wrong with that panel, I, I'm not going to mess with that. But uh, he, he said usually nothing goes wrong with that panel. Usually it's the keypad, the touch pad on the front. So that's what we're going to do and cross our fingers that it's going to work here. Okay, I just got to be careful with all this other stuff. See this thing right here? That was, that's the little light. Right there, this little red light. And so I've got to, I've got to take that off. 
and I think it just slides over and then gets pulled off. There it goes. See, there's a little, there's a little tit on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Here's that piece, and there's a little groove in there. So when I go to slide it back in, I have to slide it over that little red button. And it fits right in there. Okay, so when I slid that out, I just slid it. Be real careful with that. I got to do the next one. Same way. Here's that other one. Woo. Yeah. Got to take that and slide it off of there. Okay, like that. getting close here. Now see this is this board, computer board, is screwed on to the back of that backing piece and I think that's loose from the front of this now. Not sure, not. Yeah. Okay. It is, but it's not. I've gotta I've gotta pull this tape piece off of there. Remember that's that's for my keypad. That's for the keypad up front here. Yeah, probably, probably would have been better off if I had somebody to help me with this, huh? I gotta pull that off somehow. I'm gonna have to take two hands here. Guess I better look at the other one first, huh? Here's the new unit, and see, here's that uh, tape piece with the fitting on there. And it's just a straight fitting, and that gets plugged directly into that computer board. So I can kind of look at that and make a determination how I'm going to pull that out of there. I think that was a little helpful for me. I think I can just pull that out now. Be careful. This piece is kind of tricky to get out of there. This is going to be thrown away anyways. I'm just going to grab it gently with some needle nose. Let's see if I can't pull up on that. There, it's coming. There it comes. Yes. Okay. Before I do anything with that, I should probably look at it and see how the other one's going to go in. I wonder. You know, when I get ready to put the new one in, it's going to go in that way. I guess it's only going to go in one way. Once I get this on there, it's going to get folded up and pushed in one way. I'll look at it a little more closely. I'll figure that out. Okay, now that I got that undone, this whole computer board is attached with two mounting screws on the end, so I've got to undo those and lift this up, and then uh, this face piece should come apart then. Like I said, it's going to be a little tricky for me. It would be nice if I had somebody here to help hold these things, you know? But I don't. Careful as you go. There's a mounting screw on both ends. Alright, you probably want to see this, don't you? Okay, I did that one. I've got to do this one over here. Man, don't do that. This is going to drop down. I got, got a little mat down here. 
So you don't want to break the glass door to the oven or anything. Got to keep track of what you're doing here. Because it's all got to go back together. Okay, got that part, got that done. Now let's take a closer look at this.